Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT4 for free. So if you want to use it, you need to sign up for ChatGPT Plus, which is $20 per month subscription. However, you can use GPT4 chatbot on other platforms for free. In this guide, I'm going to show you two simple ways to use ChatGPT4 for free. So method number one is using Quora's Pro platform. Pro is an AI platform that is developed by Quora. It let users play around with a range of different AI chatbots. Users can even access OpenAI's ChatGPT and GPT-4 on this platform. To use GPT-4 through Pro, visit Pro.com, then simply log in with your Google account. Click on the GPT-4 option on the left sidebar. Then type in your prompt in the chat box at the bottom and you will get a swift response from GPT-4. The only downside is that Po offers limited access to GPT-4 prompts. It's currently limited the only one free message per day on the platform. After giving one prompt, you will be logged out for the rest of the day. Method number two is using Microsoft's Bing chat. If you use Microsoft's AI chatbot Bing, it's already running the GPT-4 model. In fact, Bing AI has some additional features that ChatGPT-4 does not have. For example, on Bing chat, you can even generate images with simple prompt. So let's see how to use Bing AI to access ChatGPT-4 for free. Open the Microsoft Edge browser and visit bing.com slash new to open the official site of Bing AI. Then click on the chat now button. It will open the Bing chatbot. Make sure the creative mode is selected because this mode mostly uses the GPT-4 model. Now in the search bar, type your question and the latest GPT-4 model will answer it. The latest GPT-4 offers multimodal inputs which means it can interpret not only text but images inputs as well. As Bing chat is based on GPT-4 model, it also accepts images in its prompt input. All you have to do is click on this icon and upload an image. Then you can ask anything you want to learn about it. Bing chat now interprets the image and answers the question by leveraging GPT-4. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. If it is, like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.